I'm gonna show you something on X that a lot of people don't know exists, and it's how to use the ad tools. They're typically only there so that you can run promotions and ads, but they're also very useful to do things like these awesome carousel posts. So let's dive right into it. I'm gonna hop over to my profile, click this more button, and go down to professional tools and click ads. So again, we're gonna use the ad tools, but we're not gonna run an ad. All right, so right here it says choose a campaign. Doesn't matter what I click because that's just stuff for ads. But what it gives me options to do is come up here to where it says creatives and I can go down to composer and that is where we want to be. Now, if you haven't added a credit card or a payment option, what you're gonna need to do is go over here to your name, click down and say add new payment method. All you have to do is put any sort of card on there, debit or credit, and it won't charge it because when we're here on this tweet composer, see how it says promoted only right here? We're not gonna use that. We don't care about the promoted part. We just care about the tools that you would use if you were promoting a tweet. All right, so this is how simple it is. We're at destination. We're gonna say we want to go to website. So I changed the destination from nothing to website. And then now it says creative type. And we're gonna go down to, we have collection or media. Now, in this case, we want to do something called the collection. And this is what gives us these little uh, icon images down below. And then one big main square image, like a hero image. So it's going to ask me if I want to add all of these individual photos. I can add, I think, six of them total. So one big one, five little ones. And I prepared a couple silly little AI things here. Uh, this one says AI does everything for me. It's got a little robot there at the beach. Now I can add another one and this is uh, AI enjoying Christmas for me. And so I have now this little icon, right? So I can keep adding all these things in. I got a party, I got a wedding. Uh, I got one that says touching grass. So I'm just gonna load all of these things up. And what I can do now is I can link a bunch of individual different links to them. If I only do three, it's not going to give me a lot of cool extra stuff that I can do, like the carousel feel. But as soon as I hit four, now we're scrolling left and right. But this is very similar to how it's going to look now. So once we've got all of our images loaded up and we're using, again, the Tweet Composer, if I click back now, I don't close this out, but I just hit back since I've added all the media that I want. Now I can put a headline for each individual thing. So I can say AI is living my life for me. So I'll just say shredditor.com slash AI. And now I can make something right on my website if you click on this big button. So let's say I have a blog post or something like that. I can just link directly to that blog post from this main hero image. The cool thing though, is that I can also do the same thing and add URLs to all of these little guys. So let's say I've got multiple blog posts and I wanna break it down so that I can say how AI is living through Christmas for me or how AI is taking my kids to enjoy birthday parties. I could put all of these different blog posts uh, about the dystopian future right here. And now we've got this post that we have with all of these individual little carousel links. And when you click each of them, it can take you to a different blog post or a YouTube video or something else that's happening like a space on X. One of my guys, Sansa, he puts these posts up and it has all of the links to the Monday through Friday spaces that he runs on X and it gives out his schedule. So anybody can just interact with that one post. He can keep it pinned to his profile there on X and anybody that wants to make sure that they're not gonna miss the Tuesday space, for example, they'll just click on the second little icon here at the bottom and it'll take them to the place where they can get the reminder set for that Tuesday space. Now all we gotta do is just write our tweet. So um, the future looks bleak. Yeah, let's just say we write all of our copy there. We can name this ad, even though it's not an ad, but we can name it and use it again in the future, make some subtle little changes to it. But all of that stuff that we want, this is our preview right here. Again, we are not running this as a promotion. So once we're happy with what we're seeing right here, we could literally click tweet and off it goes. And again, we can add more photos. So if we want, after we've got this all set up, when we have one more photo, 
we can 100% do that like this YouTube like button. And if you like this video, apparently it will help the algorithm know to show this to more people. So pound that like button and now we can see it here in our carousel. But just know that each one of these things can be used. And if you decide, hey, you know what? I need this one to be my cover image you can just drag and drop these wherever you see fit. So let me know if you've ever used the ad tools on X, how you plan to do it, or if you have any big wins, share it with us. And I would love to put a spotlight on anybody who's doing cool things on X, especially with video. So if you haven't already, subscribe for more content about X and some of the cool features that exist there and new things that are rolling out. We're gonna be talking about growth. I'm gonna be doing things I don't wanna do, but apparently, there's some weird stuff you've got to get into if you're trying to grow on the platform. I'm going to share my journey with you as we go, and I'll see you on the next one.